originally I felt that um, I had very little knowledge about Japanese art and even though I grew up in Japan uh, I wasn't um, I didn't specialize in uh, studying my own culture but um, I was familiar with ukiyo-e. I've seen a number of uh, ukiyo-e depicting beautiful women. Uh, for example, uh, Utamaro's uh, famous print girl um, blowing a glass toy may have been um, exhibited widely. And uh, Hokusai's beautiful landscapes like Akafuji and the great wave of uh, Kan Kanagawa might be uh, quite familiar to uh, many people. Some of, uh, copies of those prints were displayed at a sushi restaurant <laughs> quite widely. Um, the, um, those are the kind of prints that I was also familiar with. So the focus of this exhibition um, is uh, on prints that were produced mostly from um, mid 1850s to the beginning of uh, 1900s, which is um, towards the late Edo period to the beginning of Meiji, when many ch changes in the society in Japan were happening as a result of um, opening up the port to foreign countries, many Westerners starting to arrive uh, to the shores of, of Japan and the Japanese government, uh, Tokugawa shogun, um, were, was in, under pressure to open up the country to allow some international trading and so on. And around those times, uh, ukiyo-e was also flourishing and had become a lot more um, available to the general public of Edo and they were quite accessible. People were able to purchase and collect. Um, also, a number of prints that we have here at the West Vancouver Museum address some of the political issues that those Edo people did not or could not uh, express freely. The expression through these ukiyo-e was strictly controlled by the government and they had to be approved before they were published and made available for the public to purchase. And uh, the tempo uh, reform, which was uh, issued by the government in 1841, had prohibited the production of ukiyo-e depicting beautiful women and kabuki actors. And those were the subject matters of ukiyo-e that were very popular until then. And for example, this piece, it's called Kiki Miao Miao, in English, uh, Turtle with Actors' Expressions. So after that prohibition of uh, publishing actors' print, the ukiyo-e artist, Kuniyoshi Utagawa, came up with this idea of depicting actors as turtles. So the faces of these turtles are faces of kabuki actors who were famous and popular at the time. And in order for the people to know which turtle is which actor, Kuniyoshi had depicted the crest, crest of each actor on the turtle shell. So that Edo people at the time would be able to figure out which turtle was which actor, which made it more entertaining for them. And uh, also, the title Kiki Miao Miao, there's a twist to it too. In Japanese, Kimiao, means strange. And the kiki in this title means many turtles. And by saying kiki miao miao, the, uh, the artist Kuniyoshi had also um, gave it a clever touch to this print by making um, this is an extra extraordinarily strange print of many turtles having actors' faces. And this one, for example, is by Utagawa Kuni, uh, Yoshifuji, various cats from both sides, and it's meant to cut out. And when you cut those cats out, there are both sides in this print, and you can make a, a little cat puppet.
Uh, this lady is composed of a number of human beings um, mingled, assembled, or gathering together. Her face is made of several people. The eyes are made of young boys. Around this time, young boys shaved their heads and had some hair left at top in a, an, in a circular shape. And that's what you're looking at. The eyes of her are the heads of two boys. And her kimono is also made of several people. So would her hands. You can see some of those naked people holding a teacup. And so is her hair. These people wearing black striped kimono make up her hair.